course it happens to the Mariners. I tell you what. Hey, what I would like to be doing right now is shooting some hoops. It's simply called the basketball tournament. 96 teams from all across the United States. Single elimination and first prize, double that of year one. A cool one million bucks. You know, Miss Kearney, or Mrs. Kearney, uh, it's a mix of names, former college, NBA. You might recognize some that either are still pretty good, uh, then some that only remember when they were pretty good players and actually in. And he is out there at camp today, and we have a man who appreciates good defense. Yep. Antonio Pierce here with us this afternoon. When you have a chance to sit down and watch breakdown tapes of what Luke Keekley does, how is he so effective out there? One, you know, you prepare. All right, to throw a punch, and there's a positive to be had. Right, Apparently, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a personal story that you can actually yeah. relate to this. I got to hear it. Same thing. I was an undrafted guy. That's Olympic sprinter Olivia Quigley, who was born in China. She grew up in Wisconsin. And the goal that's going to be going home with her is even more poignant, given that just this February, she was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer. She is just 24 years old. Olivia, one of the many inspirational stories to come from Special Olympics World Games. Kevin Nagandi with a look at the best from day 6 of the action in Los Angeles. And for the second time this week, the Blue Jays pull off a blockbuster trade. They are stu still two games back in the wild car hunt. How does the addition of David Price get them into seven? Tim Kirchin rejoining us now, about six and a half hours away now from this trade deadline expiring. The Padres have yet to move a player. What could we see happen to San Diego by the end of the day? Well, I just got off the phone with the general. Here on SportsCenter, it is year two for Tennessee Titans head coach Ken Wisenhunt, whose team is coming off a two and 14 season that earned them the number two pick in the draft to the titans hope sarah will be their franchise arm for the next decade and they have invested heavily in arms over the last couple of years since 2006 tennessee's drafted three quarterbacks in the first round all of them within the top eight picks vince young and jake locker's time there in the league lasted a little bit longer than ronda rousey's opponents the team hoping that mariota pr proves to be the long-term investment that they can bank on. Paul Kaharski with more. The bond between athlete and coach at Special Olympics World Games, uh, which we had the great joy and privilege to bring you this past week from Los Angeles, that bond feels a lot like family. It is the best description of the connection between power lifter Chevy Peters and his coach John Lair. Long before Peters arrived in LA, when he was at his weakest, it was his coach who gave him strength. Tom Rinaldi has this SE featured story presented by Dove Men Plus Care.